I'm Jim Check again with Kelowna now, and this time with Jason Mann. We're going to talk. We're going to do this daily. We're talking about why you should attend the AI Summit that we're holding here, September 27th, here in Kelowna. It's a full day seminar. One of the biggest events to come to Kelowna in terms of business event in recent history. I mean, I think the last yeah. one was Level Up 2019. And, yeah, and, and and we did a really good job with Level Up to, in 2019, but. I believe AI, and I get so super jazzed. I just had a conversation with somebody here, one of the um, guys that runs a car dealership. He's like, "Why, you know, why, why should we come to him?" I'm, you know, thinking about it. It's like, and so I just, you know, I, I kind of spent like five minutes telling him why to come, and he's like, "Holy cow, Jim, I'm like super jacked." Okay, jacked so what did you coming. say? What's the? Well, I, I told him how I use it. Like AI is is probably the most transformational thing we'll see in the next. Or in this hundred years, like it's it's bigger than the internet. It is so it is so transformational in what we're going to see. Okay, so I, I think something like seventy percent of people have tried ChatGPT, so they kind of have a sense of what it is. But if this was a baseball game, what inning are we in? I think we're at the beginning, but it's gonna like it's gonna go fast, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that, and I, I gave him some examples of, of how I use AI in my everyday life, and this is this is just like how I use it every day and how I continue to use it and integrate it into my life. Because I think that's that's what's important to people. How can you integrate it into your life that makes value for mm -hmm, you? Mm -hmm. As I'm driving in in the morning, this is the question. I've named my AI Q. So I, w I say voice A command. nod to Star Trek? Whatever you want. Q, <laughs> Q has other meanings too. So, okay, Q. Okay. so I say, hey Q, what's going on in the world today? And then through voice, like I'll have a discussion. Q will say... Hey, good morning, Jim. And it'll give me the top five, ten headlines, whatever I ask it for. And it'll give me the headlines. And it says, any of those you want me to delve into deeper? And I'll say, yes, this one, go deeper into that one. And it, and that'll, it gives me a good picture of the world as I'm driving in, which is typically I'd either listen to music or, or whatever. So now I get, well, that we're in the news business, I get a recap of what's going on in the business. I can also ask it for fashion trends. I can ask it about uh, vehicle trends, I can ask it about solar trends. I can ask it any question I want, and it goes into detail. We can have long discussions on, on whatever I want to learn about. It is, it is definitely, I'm drinking from a fire hose of knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's discussions. It's not me texting or typing, and I don't have to be distracted. It's, it's full-on conversations and fluid. Like It's like I'm talking to a friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, you, and it knows my name. It knows who's in my family because it learns from you and it keeps that information. It's not like it doesn't. And it can, it'll can even refer back to things because I'm trying to learn a lot about AI. It'll say, this would be perfect for your AI Summit, Jim, on September 27th. <laughs> so it learns and remembers that stuff. So it's awesome. Like right? better than your best friend. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then even in image generation, we're doing these mini seminars. We did one the Thursday past and the Thursday before. And we used to have quite a few designers in, in the office. And um, and no slagging on them, but, you know, I, I would say, hey, I want to do a beer and pizza thing with an AI summit, right? Do you know what I mean? Like a robot, like put a robot, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I, I would ask for an image and I'd say, hey, I want a robot with beer and pizza. You know, and then we'd use our Getty and we would, you know, we'd pay a lot for that. And, we, and we'd take that and we'd combine some images and then, you know, go back and forth and probably... You know, in four or five hours, I would have, you know, the product that I wanted, right? With the text on the topography I needed and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. I can have it in second, two seconds, three seconds. And if I don't like it, I can say again. Right? Yeah. yeah. The revisions are not uh, nearly, you don't have to long wait as long and you don't have to be as polite. It's all about prompt <laughs> engineering, really. Yeah. Creating better prompts, right? Yeah. And then also then, you know, like that's... Chat GPT three, I think three point five is where most people kind of jumped on. Yeah, it's now a Chat GPT four point oh, and supposedly Strawberry is coming next. And supposedly Straw, the difference between three point five and four is 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 amazing. Strawberry is supposed to take that to the next level, and then Grok, which is in X, launched, um, and at first it didn't do um, as image generation, all that kind of stuff. The latest iteration of Grok, I think, was launched about. Week week and a half ago, and it does amazing image image generation, and it and it Grok has a sense of humor, so you can kind of like play with Grok. There's some things ChatGPT won't do, like it refuses to do, whereas Grok doesn't really refuse anything. So you can do some pretty cool imagery out of out of Grok. Um, and this is kind of like the low hanging fruit. These are the easy to get applications. Easy to integrate in your life. To yeah, absolutely easy to integrate. Helps you write reports. Like I, I do a lot with solar, so I can tell me tell me the advantages, disadvantages. Write me a report. 
on solar versus natural gas versus coal versus SMRs. And I can do that, and it, it gives me a table of comparison and does all that kind of stuff too. I can ask it statistics, you know, almost anything in that. So that's a big part of, of how I use it just on a, like a superficial kind of level kind of thing, I guess. But it also does counseling if you wanted, right? You could tell it's your feelings. You could, it's, I guess the cool thing is it's, it's full on conversations with, with, uh, this, um, large language yeah, model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I also have a f- self-driving car, so it it's does does all that kind of stuff too. Right? So it's pretty, it's it's super interesting. So one of the speakers is going to be there is going to be Peter Diamandis, which is an X Prize, uh, the founder of X Prize, which launched this private space revolution. Which you know, out of that came uh, Richard Branson's Galactica won that that event but then you know out of that also blue origin was was part of that and not part of that but it, it's it is now there and spacex so those companies didn't exist before the private space enterprise is bigger than than nasa right nasa's renting rockets from spacex so from picture generation helping to write you know all of that kind of stuff you're going to say something about peter cool. demandis but i'm thinking like from for, from the perspective of a business yeah. operator here in Kelowna so, on main street that you know is maybe you're going to benefit from some of that stuff but here's, what's their biggest here, here's an value? easy one yeah. here's an easy one you can take a picture like say if you're a restaurateur yeah you can take a picture of that food like say you did a dish right yeah you can take a picture of that food and you can tell chat gpt you can say you can upload the photo and you can say hey uh, write me a blog post for this photo and and, and target it to this audience and and you know that these are some of the cool bullets that i want involved in that Boom, done. Including the emojis, everything. Everything is done. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to like type it properly. You don't need Grammarly or anything. You have that post instantaneously, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right? And then you can post it. You can upload a photo. This is a really cool one. Just in, integrate it in your personal life. We've done this so many times. You go to the farmer's market, you, you buy a vegetable. You don't know what quite it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so... Before you'd, you'd search Google and try to find a, an image and then you search and you get results and all that kind of stuff. You don't need to do that. You take a photo of it, upload it to ChatGPT, ask it what it is, what the nutritional value of it is and some recipes for it. Everything, all at once. Wow. Yeah. I, I rarely use Google now. Probably in the last four weeks I've gone to Google. I used to use Google all the time. But I use Google need, Lens quite a bit, actually. You don't need Google results when you get the actual what you need result, right? Because mm-hmm. because that one has the recipes in it. Yeah. It has the uh, the nutritional value of that that. Vegetable. And it can identify it for you. It can identify it for you. You can do all kinds of things. Like it's it's uploading images, and if you want even to do, uh, you can upload a photo of yourself a fashion or your body type and everything and it'll, and it'll analyze that photo for you. Mm. I've uploaded photos of Kelowna and I'd say, where is this? And it's like, that's in Kelowna, British Columbia. <laughs> right. So it, it, it is astounding what it can do. And, and again, we're just in inning one at the beginning, right? Like, and it's, so Peter will give us kind of that broad vision of what AI can do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like here's what AI is doing as far as health, AI is doing as far as finance, AI is doing in so many aspects of your life. And then Kane and Alicia will spend a couple hours going through, here's the tools that businesses can use. And I think that's going to be a lot of the power. far beyond imagery and writing. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of the power that people get, and they're going to take that away, and they're going to make their businesses uh, more efficient, uh, more valuable, and they're going to get more out of each employee as well too, right? Because instead of like, sorry, jumping around a bit, like we used to write blogs for fencing, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like then we would have a writer do the research, maybe even foam that owner and say, what's the difference between a wood fence and a metal fence? And because you have to do that research, yeah. right? And, and and now you can ask for that blog and it'll even generate you the images to go along with it. And you can ask it to write it in your voice, your brand voice. Right. Yeah. So where it's going, this is where the future is going. It's actually going to go to command too, right? Instead of just giving you information. So like you could say, I really like TikTok, create a version of TikTok for me and it'll actually create the app for you. Yeah. You can actually ask it to steal all the data from TikTok. <laughs> and it was, you know what I mean? Like it, it's, it's, 
it's amazing at where it's going. And if you think about, we got a, a, a robotics company coming to the event mm-hmm. that's going to talk about robots. And, and here's the coolest thing about where robots are at. Vision-based learning. That's, that's, that's mind-blowing. Vision-based learning. So they learn from what they see as opposed to code, mm-hmm. right? So like Tesla's driving now right now, that's all vision-based driving. That's vision-based learning. And so, so that's more like how you or I would learn. Exactly. So the robotic arm, when it's picking mushrooms, looks at the image of the mushroom that it's looking at and decides whether or not it's ready for picking or should leave it for six hours or seven hours or eight hours because it could be, it'll be bigger and, and juicier or whatever it is that Perfect. mushrooms are. <laughs> And then it picks it with a, a suction cup and because it's air. So it doesn't um, bruise the mushroom because mushrooms bruise very easily. Right. Takes it in and once it pulls it out of there, and then it analyzes it with the vision and looks at it and says, okay, this is a good mushroom. And then it cuts the, the dirt off. It rejects that. Or if it's a bad mushroom, it rejects it. Yeah, right? so this kind of technology is coming to local manufacturers. What's happening local, already, they're, yeah. they're, these, these mushroom pickers are in place in Abbotsford and, that, and they have a two-year payback. So this is yeah. happening everywhere, right? Yeah. So vision-based learning is is a breakthrough, right? So even if you look at Tesla, Tesla was programmed code at, at version 11 and 12, I think it's like 12.3 was I think about eight months ago which is you had to touch the steering wheel every couple of minutes and it was called the nag or whatever, right? So 12.5 just got released to hardware three, no touching the steering wheel. And you can, you know, all you have to do is keep your eyes on the road. Hmm. So pretty impressive, right? Yeah. And we're just scratching the surface of all you can do with it. And as you said, a lot of these tools are here now. Just a lot of people aren't aware of it, aren't using it, haven't incorporated right. it yet. A lot of people I talk to, they're just like, oh, I use it for this or whatever. One of the other cool things is like if you have a famous person in history that you have, I don't know, do you have somebody? Famous, yeah. Well, Lincoln. Could be dead. This, uh, Abraham Lincoln? Mm-hmm. Okay, so so you could say, hey, Q, or whatever you want to call him, assume the role of Abraham Lincoln and teach me some of your life lessons. Have a conversation with Abraham Lincoln. That would be, yeah. Uh, and right now it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a verbal discussion with Abraham Lincoln. Think about... Full score. Think about a couple of iterations later where it's a visual conversation with Abraham Lincoln. Mm. And here's the other super cool thing that's coming. If you record yourself for a couple of hours with ChatGPT and upload yourself, AI will then be around, internalize you. And then you've watched Superman, right? Yeah. And when his father shows up and he's a 3D hologram, but he actually communicates with him in, in, the, in the current time, not, as, mm. not even the, the past time, because he can, he can access the data of the current time. So you could eternalize oh, wow. yourself and, and you, know, you're, you could be around for your children or your grandparents and all that kind of stuff. So you know what's interesting? I, I did an interview. And you could say, hey, Grandpa, I want some advice. And you can go back to Grandpa because Grandpa's just going to put up some of his stuff and they could actually speak to Grandpa. Yeah. Well, this is, That's going to so- freak some people out. I, I recorded a, a, what well, was basically a legacy interview with my dad yeah. a couple hours to sat down and asked like about our history and things yeah. that, you know, all the things I maybe haven't asked over the years that yeah. I wanted to preserve. I could probably take that and dump it in and, and get a head start. 100%. Yeah. Interesting. And then as the technology evolves, you'll be able to have a conversation with them just like you were there. I had the uh, um, opportunity to use uh, Apple's uh, vision. Mm. glasses when I was in Hawaii. Mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. Augment your reality completely? It's, it's, um, so it's wraparound, so you can look, and it's like full wraparound vision. I was standing on the first baseline with the first base catcher when the ball was thrown, and you, you like, you want to duck. Like, it's, yeah. it's so real. Like, it is absolutely real. You're standing on the cliff with a, you know, a mountain climber, um, standing on the beach, like you're at the beach in the way, wow. you know what I mean? Like it's, it is, it will be the concert experience. So you're on stage with Taylor Swift. Do, yeah. do you know what I mean? Instead of like in the audience, I know some people like that, but like you can actually be on stage with her and walk around. Do you know what I mean? Change your perspective and, and do different things, right? Hmm. That's how movies will start to become. Yeah. And movies will have 
alternative endings because you'll be able to change the ending or change the way that the characters flow. Immersive, choose your own experience. AI can also translate. You can, if you put something, this piece of content, right now, we could put this piece of content out in 27 different languages mm -hmm. in seconds. Mm -hmm. Not, not, you know, in days, mm -hmm. right? There's like that. It's, it's absolutely transformational. And it's, and it's so many things. You watch a little piece on a pizza business. How does, how does a pizza business, like a small yeah. pizza business, use AI, mm -hmm. right? And they can use AI as an intelligence to figure out what's best time to sell, what pizza, when to sell it, what's the most profitable Based pizza. on the data of Based history. on the data. And, and it doesn't need a lot of data because they can extrapolate the data. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the interesting thing. Yeah. And I think those are the interesting usage cases that maybe aren't as sexy or, or attention grabbing but could make a real difference in a business owner's life. Yeah, I think, you know, that you're doing social media and stuff like that for your company. AI alone is going to ramp that up because there's a lot of AI influencers out there right now mm -hmm. that are actually, <laughs> that you think they're real, then they're not real. Yeah, and um, which is crazy. Yeah, so, um, but you can do all your tagging and hashtag because it knows which hashtags to use too. You know, it knows... Like, cause you know, like you're guessing, right? When you're doing it yourself, right? So mm -hmm, you can create. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a deep database and understanding. There's the and it and it could lead to a world of abundance. We did a, a session yesterday. We don't want to take this too long because we're going to do this every day. We did a session yesterday on how Bitcoin plays a role in the future of AI too, right? Because it's going to be transactional. Because there'll be a time when your sales force will be automated. Will it actually make calls and has conversations? Like I watched a, a demonstration with um, Google. And then the actual, the executive assistant, which was a robot, made the phone call. Yeah, like this is happening now. And, and made a hair appointment and then had a discussion with the person that says, yeah, no, that time's unavailable. And so like, oh, what's a better time? And then they had a going, they went back and forth probably like 10, 12 times before the appointment was set. And and the lady on the other end never knew that was a robot that was talking yeah. to her. See, like it's things like this that are going to change the game completely and whether you like AI or don't like AI or afraid of AI or want to embrace it fully yeah. like the conference is going to give you some information that'll help you in the future no yeah. matter where you stand and, and, then, and then even in the regulation side of it I mean there's going to be people that say we need to regulate it and we need to slow it down and we need to do these things the problem is other parts of the world aren't going to slow it down and that's and it's it's the space race and it's the AI race mm -hmm. and and most of these things are a neural network. I watched a video on on shopping, like this this home delivery for for groceries. There was twenty eight hundred carts on top of this grid that you know somebody would send in their order. They want three tomatoes. Um, I'm told not to tap. Three tomatoes, a couple of bananas, and a head of lettuce and a pack of cheese. Say that's their grocery order. So this this cart will go and on this grid, this huge grid, and it'll pick up the products out of these buckets and build the order, and then go drop it into a box, and then it'll get shipped and labeled. Shipped and labeled all at once. And there's these 2,800 of these um, boxes zipping around, and they're missing each other by, by a half an inch. And the question by the reporter was, like, how, how are they, like, missing each other? Like, who's controlling all these robots? And, mm. you know, 2,800 robots not running in each way. He said, there's only one robot. There's only one robot there, right? And that's the trick. Like, if you think of this, this robot behind us here in this picture... If that's Optimus and he learns, and there's say there's 10,000 Optimuses and, and he learns uh, heart surgery, all 10,000 Optimuses have learned heart surgery at the same time because they're connected to the neural net. Yeah. Right? So that's the, that's the exponential kind of like, like blow your mind kind of stuff. Right? So like here's, here's a vision that I kind of can see happening. I'm wondering how long it'll take until we see the first one though. Optimus? Nope. You call a pizza restaurant. Since we're talking about pizza, you call yep. a pizza restaurant. Yep. You talk to a robot. They take your order. Yeah. Automatically, then there's robots building your pizza. Then it goes to autonomous delivery in yep. a drone that's powered by solar. So there's no cost for delivery. There's yep. no cost to create to take your call. So that is that. That's that deflationary pressure pressure sure. that could because right. I mean could create. competition then would because that other robotic firm would want to sell pizza to you cheaper. Right, so yeah, you yeah. Eat, right? You're going to pay extra, extra probably one day for a counter trend, handcrafted pizza by a human maybe. But that that scenario is doable today, realistically, right? Like well, just, the technology. Just, even right now, right now, just in, in a busy pizza place in Kelowna, 
you know, like that phone, the guys on the phone, like, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes people are on hold and they, mm-hmm. and they get fed up and they go somewhere else. That robot or automated service could take a thousand orders at once yeah. without holding anybody on hold. Right. Yeah. It could just spit orders out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, and they could show up there and then the, I mean, even if you don't have uh, robotic cooks at that time, you're, you're definitely going to take, you're going to process way more orders. The orders are going to be more correct, right? Cause you're getting what exactly what people are wanting. You can right. train it to upsell and everything else too. Probably sure. do a better job. You absolutely do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's enough for today. Yeah, that's that's where we're going. That's why you got to be here at the AI Summit, September twenty seventh at Trinity Church. Uh, the experts in the world that are working in this. I guarantee that you will get stuff out of there that will be an investment of your time. Like you will. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm drinking from the fire hose on this stuff and, and learning every day. And I cannot believe, um, the opportunities that exist. Mm-hmm. It's going to cause a lot of disruption as well, mm-hmm. but there's amazing opportunities as well. Totally. And it doesn't have to be everything all at once. It's find something in your business that's, that you want to, you know, automate or take care of. And social media, be this one is going to open your the eyes. Big ones, right? Like yeah. you can probably, Instead of spending hours messing around social media posts, you can do them quickly, fastly, efficiently, yeah. and better. Yeah. And the, the, the biggest thing about AI is going to do is cheaper, better, faster. Cheaper, better, faster. Right? There you go. All right. And uh, thank you for watching Kelowna Now.